Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to all students. Welcome to Mathematics 1 class tutorial for topic 2 entitled Equation Inequalities and Absolute Values. In this video, we will cover subtopic 2.1 Equations. By the end of the class, students will be able to find the equations involving certs, indices, and logarithm. Before that, please recall a few things from your previous topic. For more understanding, students need to remember and able to use rules of search, indices, and log. You can refer your notes from topic 1. Today, we are going to solve a few examples from tutorial topic 2, which is question 1 and 2. Then, you guys need to try out other questions by yourself. Before that, let us revise back few extra techniques for solving quadratic equation. There are three methods to solve quadratic equation, which are by using factorization, formula, and also completing the square, or you can call it as CTS. For the first technique, let's say if I give you a quadratic equation of x square minus 6x plus 8 equal to 0. So, the factor for this quadratic equation will be x minus 2 and also x minus 4. So you can write down uh, these two factors and equate it with 0. E then equate each of the factor with 0. So x minus 2 equal to 0 and also x minus 4 equal to 0. By solving each of these, you will get x is equal to 2 and also x is equal to 4. Then, this will give you the final answer. Hence, x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 4. So, this is the first technique. Solving quadratic equation by using factorization. The second technique is using formula. Do you still remember the formula? Let's say if you have a quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Then the formula would be x equal to minus b plus minus third for, oops, sorry. b square minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Okay, you guys need to know all of the constant value given. So then you can substitute all the value inside the formula. Let's say if I give you um, a quadratic equation, x square minus 6x plus 4 equal to 0. Then, from this equation, you need to state what is your A, what is your B, and also what is your C. So, from here, we can write down A is equal to 1, while B is equal to negative 6, and your C is equal to 4. Hence, by substituting all the values inside the formula, you will get x is equal to negative multiplied by negative 6 plus minus third, negative 6 square minus 4 is your a, sorry, 4, your a is 1, and also your c is 4. Everything will be divided 
by 2 multiplied by 1. Then, you just need to press your calculator or simplify it. You will get 6 plus minus set 20 over 2. Set 20 can be simplified as 6 plus minus 2 set 5 over 2. Hence, your answer will be 3 plus minus set 5. So, here you have two different answers which is hence your x will be 3 plus set 5 or x equal to 3 minus set 5 as the final answer. That is the uh, technique of solving quadratic equation by using formula. The third method is solving quadratic equation by using completing the square. There are various techniques of doing CTS. Now, I will show you two different ways, which is the first one is method that you already used during your SPM. Let's say if I have a quadratic equation, x squared plus 4x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, the next step you need to do is you need to bring the constant into your right hand side. So you will have x squared plus 4x equal to negative 2. Usually in school, they ask you to add p over 2 square for both left hand side and right hand side. Now your value of b is plus 4. So you need to write down x square plus 4x plus b is 4 over 2 square equal to negative 2 plus 4 over 2 square. By simplify both of this, okay, and then you will left with x square plus 4x plus 4 equal to negative 2 plus 4. The next step that you need to do is you need to factorize this left hand side. Then what would you get? You will get x plus 2 square because it is repeated root equal to 2. So this is the form that you need to have before you solve the x. This is the form that we call as complete square form. Alright, so next what you need to do is just you solve this equation. So x plus 2, if square, bring it to right hand side, you will get plus minus 2. And then x will be given as negative 2 plus minus 2. Hence, your x value will be either negative 2 plus 2 or x is equal to negative 2 minus set 2. So this is the technique that you already use during SPM. Now, I will show you uh, another fast method of doing completing the square. This method will give you the same equation and also the same answer. Let's use the same quadratic equation which is x square plus 4x minus 2 or plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, so the same step, you just need to shift the constant to your right hand side. Then you have x square plus 4x equal to negative 2. The formula is so simple, you just need to write down big bracket square minus small bracket square at your left hand side. 
and you just copy down your right hand side whatever left in your right hand side then next what you should do is you just bring down whatever left so x will be written inside the big bracket x this symbol you just need to write down plus this is your b remember from previous formula b is you need to divide e with 2 so that is the thing that you need to write down inside the big bracket okay what about the small bracket the small bracket consists of only this part so bring it into the small bracket plus 4 over 2 okay as simple as that you will directly have the complete square form okay so write down x plus 2 square minus here you will left with 4 equals to negative 2 so simplify it x plus 2 square equal to negative 2 plus 4 so x plus 2 square equal to 2 exactly the same from what you've got before this is what you call as complete square form and it will give you the same answer so simplify it you will get x plus 2 equals to plus minus 2 then x is equal to negative 2 plus minus 2 hence you will have two different value of answer which is x is equal to minus 2 plus 2 or x equal to minus 2 minus set 2 okay you will get the same answer right so it is up to you to choose your method in order to solve by using completing the square during exam